Hello and welcome to the K-Scope podcast. Billy Reeves here. I trust you're well. Some forthcoming releases in this edition from White Moth, Black Butterfly, from Old Fire, from The Pineapple Thief's forthcoming concert film and this one from Spooky Action, the new album from Manson's frontman Paul Draper. This track features Stephen Wilson and is entitled No Ideas. I did a Google search for what comes up When I type in that I've got no ideas I added insult to my injuries By digging up a song called No Ideas
No Ideas, Paul Draper featuring Stephen Wilson. Spooky Action is out on August the 11th. Paul also appears on the title track of Stephen Wilson's new album, To The Bone, which is also out in August. The two have talked about working on an EP together after working on those two collaborations. Now, the new video for Paul's single, Things People Want, will be out very soon. Check the K-Scope website for details. And the last few tickets for the Birmingham leg of Paul Draper's tour. The rest of it's sold out, I understand. But the last few tickets for Birmingham, the O2 Institute, September the 23rd, available via Paul Draper Official. Com. And we'll have Paul Draper in an exclusive interview in the next K-Scope podcast. We met up recently outside the Festival Hall by the South Bank of the Thames in central London. Here's a snippet of that chat. Herein, we discuss the creative partnership between Paul and Catherine Ann Davis, also known as K-Scope recording artiste The Anchoress. The two write together on each other's records. So, how does he see the relationship? My relationship with her, we have a very just loose rule. If she comes up with the spark of the idea, it's her song. Okay. If it's the spark of my idea, it's my song. So these were my sparks. Okay. But yeah, she joined in on five and, uh, you know, co-written five with me on the... She's she's, on the she's very talented. She comes from... She's self-taught, but she does come from a kind of academic background as well. She's, in fact, I think she's doctor. She Catherine is Dr. Davis, Davis, as I, yeah, I, doctor. I, as I refer <laughs> is to that, her. Is that a help or a hindrance? The fact that she's... Working with Dr. Davis. The, the fact that she... No, the fact that she's proper. I just wonder if she said, no, I'm afraid you can't do that because it's uh, an incorrect key. Um, is she Lennon to your McCartney or the other way around in that situation? She'd probably she'd go for McCartney, whereas right. I'd go for Lennon, so I'm happy with that. She <laughs> dis- Someone tried to say to us the other day that we were the uh, Stevie Nicks and Lindsay Buckingham <laughs> without the cocaine and sex. But I think she said, no, we were more like the Benny and Bjorn of Prague. <laughs> Paul Draper. Very amusing afternoon that was, and you'll be able to hear that interview in full in the next K-Scope podcast. Now, also coming up in a future podcast, an exclusive interview with Daniel Tompkins of Tesseract, formerly of Sky Harbour, whose album with the vocalist Jordan Bethany and former bandmate in Sky Harbour, Keshav Dar, comes out on K-Scope soon. The act is a White Moth, a Black a Butterfly. The album is entitled A Tone. And I caught up with Dan and Jordan in Dan's studio before he went off on the recent Tesseract tour. He's also a professional singing teacher, and as I fancy myself as a vocalist, I asked him for some top tips. Stretching your vocal cords from top to bottom in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening is massively important, because for endurance in singing, it's not just about breathing, it's not just about being healthy, it's about developing strong vocal muscles, and there are two groups. You have have a CT muscle and a TA muscle. And if you can stretch your cords out from top, from the bottom of your range to the top in a sweep, like a. Mm. Oh, all you're doing is grabbing hold of them. You're grabbing hold of them and you're making them pliable and stretching them. So if you do that daily, you're building new habits, new muscular habits. And if you can have a high protein diet, you're rebuilding muscle tissue to coordinate in a certain way. That's how you strengthen your voice. I'm absolutely paranoid, though. If you're, when you're going to America with Tesseract in the next few weeks uh, and Europe, aren't you absolutely paranoid? Don't stay away do you know from what? me. Say that cough, keep that cough away from me. A little bit, yeah. You do have to kind of like be, you can't be change, clever. You can change a guitar string, but you can't exactly. change Exactly, you can't. Cord, you, yeah. have to, you have to be clever. You know, if there's somebody coughing, I walk the other way. You yeah. know, <laughs> if somebody shakes, shakes my hand and they've got a sweaty hand, I'm afraid I'm going to wash it. Fist bump. Fist <laughs> bump. <laughs> yeah, just fist bump. That's my turn. Yeah. So, well, I think that probably concludes our business. Thank you very much, very much for the tea. But, but obviously no milk in it. Why shouldn't I have milk in it? Why is it dairy products aren't good for your voice, are they? <laughs> Chocolates, I understand. My thanks to Dan and Jordan. You'll be hearing that interview in full in a forthcoming podcast. Let's hear a track from A Tone, shall we? This is White Moth, Black Butterfly, out on September the 1st. And this track is called The Serpent.
are White Moth, Black Butterfly. That's entitled The Serpent from the album A Tone, out on K-Scope, September the 1st. Now, you may remember not so long ago, John Mark Lapham of the Earlies, recording as Old Fire, released an album on K-Scope entitled Songs from the Haunted South, a collaborative effort with Micah P. Hinson from the Late Chord, Sarah Lowe's from the Earlies, Alex Muss of Black Angels, Christopher Barnes of Gem Club and others. Now, the album is shortly going to get the full K-Scope vinyl treatment. So ahead of that, I'm going to play you an exclusive, an instrumental version of one of the key tracks, Blood Child. And here's John Mark to tell you all about it. This song actually was one of the first ideas that started materializing back in the very early gestation period uh, for this album back in like 2006. It was prompted by uh, the death of a friend of mine, um, a, a good friend named William Day Herrera, passed away during this time and it, it really hit me hard and I, I wanted to write a, a sort of dedication for him and that required me finding a vocalist uh, and collaborator who could do it justice so I reached out to Sarah Lowe's. Sarah has performed for some time with my first band The Earlies and she also has her own solo project as well so I s- wrote some lyrics for her and sent them over and basically got her just to write a song around that and let her pick it up from there so she sent back some piano and vocal ideas and some really beautiful melodies and I kept these with me for what turned out to be years and it wasn't until I started working with David Stith that the song sort of evolved into something else.
Old Fire. That's the instrumental version of Blood Child from the sessions for the album Songs from the Haunted South, out soon on vinyl on K-Scope. If you have Spotify, John Mark Lapham made a full album commentary, uh, which you will find thereon. Now, a reminder that the Anathema tour starts in early August through Latin America, then they go to North America, Europe and Australia, taking the band into early next year. Kscopemusic.com forward slash an for all the dates. And the Pineapple Thief have announced the second leg of their European tour in support of the critically acclaimed album Your Wilderness. The new dates will see the band venture into Poland, into Switzerland, along with shows in Germany, the Czech Republic, the Netherlands and the UK. You can see a full list at kscopemusic.com forward slash TPT. And the chaps will again be joined by Gavin Harrison of Porcupine Tree and King Crimson on drums. And from Godsticks on guitar, Darren Charles and the Pineapple Thief have a concert film ready for release. It's entitled Where We Stood. It's out on September the 8th. You can pre-order it now in your favourite format from the Kscope website. So to celebrate... Here's an exclusive track from that to close. This is The Pineapple Thief. Take your shot. And if you've a moment, subscribe, rate and review the K-Scope podcast on iTunes. I'd really appreciate it. Ta-da! It's time to make your move 